Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Jamin. And today, we're going to show you how to use dependencies in Team Gantt. Sometimes in your project, starting one thing is dependent on something else being finished. Like for me, getting out of bed in the morning is dependent on the quantity and quality of coffee I ingest. Not the same thing. I drink a lot, but I don't think it affects me. Anyway, if you want to add dependencies between tasks to make sure they're being done in order, it's really easy. In the timeline, you just mouse over a task that you want to add a dependency to. You'll see a gray dot on either side of the taskbar. Click and hold the left dot if you want the task to follow another task, or the right dot if you want it to precede another task. Now, while still holding, drag the dependency line to another task in the timeline and connect it. Notice you will only be able to connect it to the left of the taskbar if you are dragging from the right dot of another task, and likewise to the right of the taskbar if you are dragging from the left of another task. Now that you've created a dependency, it's easy to see when your tasks are out of order. Dependent tasks should always follow the tasks they depend on. When these tasks get out of order, the dependency turns red, indicating that the timeline needs to be adjusted. There are a couple of ways to do this. If you only need to adjust a few tasks, you can move them individually in the timeline. But if you have a string of dependent tasks out of order, an easy way to quickly adjust all of them is to click and hold the top task in the string and shake it in the timeline. When you release the task, all of the dependent tasks will reorder to begin after the task they depend on. Well, that's dependencies in Team Gantt. Jamin, you should really think about cutting back on your coffee. You sound just like my mom. She says eventually I'm just going to crash and...